And this video explains some IFTT workflows. IFTTT stands for if this then that and basically it connects services to other services using things called recipes. So if I am using Outlook mail then I can receive a notification on my phone when I receive a high priority mail. If I'm using an Instagram account then I can add my Instagram photos to a buffer queue. Simply by scanning through some of the more popular recipes you can um, you can have a look at which ones may be useful for your client work. It is most helpful to come to IFTTT once you have an idea of what you want to do rather than just scanning for popular recipes. So keep in mind that um, you do want to sign in to IFTTT with a specific goal in mind. Uh, what do you want to connect and why and let's see if IFTT can do it. For example, I can search for Instagram and up comes Instagram and Instapaper. I can click the search button and this will show me a lot of the popular recipes that are used for Instagram. Um, I don't have to use these, I can actually just go to the My Recipes tab and create my own recipe from scratch. So creating your own recipe from scratch, how do you do it? You go to Create Recipe, select this and then choose one of the channels. If you have not yet authorized a channel, it will ask you to activate and sign in to that the Instagram account that you want to uh, use with IFTTT. Once you've done that, you can choose a trigger. And normally the most uh, popular triggers are at the beginning. So in this case, it is any new photo, which is fine. And then I can create trigger. So if there is any new photo on my Instagram account, then do something with that. And in this case, I could possibly add it to a Facebook page by creating a, a Facebook photo. If you are familiar with the platforms, then you will be f familiar with the types of actions you can create on IFTTT. The first one here is create a status message. The second one is a link post and the third is upload a photo. Obviously these recipes, these actions and these triggers change depending on the service that you're using. Next, it's uh, time to customize the, uh, the message here. So in this case, uh, Facebook is, IFTTT is suggesting that we use the caption uh, in, as the, the, the Instagram caption in the Facebook photo and that we include the URL. Well, I might decide that the URL isn't relevant and that I just want the, uh, the photo uploaded with the caption. I can of course choose a, the beaker here, the glass beaker, and have a look at all the different ingredients I can add to my recipe. Things like the caption, that's already in there, the URL, the source URL for the photo, what date it was created, and the embed code. So none of these are relevant for me right now. Uh, things like the embed code might be helpful if I was creating a WordPress post for my Instagram photo, but all I'm concerned about is just getting a, a good result. It's handy to have a test Facebook page, a test Facebook profile to test one of these recipes first uh, unless you're comfortable with what you're doing. Lastly, I'll choose a photo album and then click create recipe.